Corsair chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, hmm. we have the right man for the job. There you go. Oh! Can you make some parsley again? Tinker Tom. Here has a Corsair chip. Whoa! Hey! For real? Oh man, it's been ages. Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the Corsair chip. Okay. Um, Fine. Now I'm going for It's yours. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsair chip. Let's have the circuit yeah. analyzer take a crack at you. Okay, I threw him again. <clears throat> Give Tom time. He'll get that chip decoded. I don't try anything strange. Chip access. Can't, can't, can't just have bought, bought I don't try anything strange. Memory here go. Here it comes. Encryption uh. algorithms. All right. Steal money. Drama boy said the deacon was just oh, man. Now. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. <laughs> What? Snack the hook? No, okay. We got lucky. Got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software, isn't it? Come on. Show me that sweet bass. Then we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, but mm. I'm not sure how luck will hold up next time, guys. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal mm. clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Okay, great. Um. Hello? Okay. Thanks, Tom. Can I just talk to him again? Excuse me. If we're going to be dealing mm. more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. Okay. You know this, right? Um. Yeah. yeah. I know all about them. Good. The institute treats synths as property, as tools. Mm. Go, Go on. on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage, give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. Mm. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? I risk my life for people every day. Makes no difference to me if it's a human or a synth. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs. Normally we'd try and repeat oh, it. Valentine right loved now, that. We don't have the time to train up a new agent. Han er en synth. There are oh. other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can mm, help yeah. you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Okay. Ska vi snacka med Deacon för vi drar härifrån? Hey. Oj, hej. Hey, uh, so far, What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as hmm. long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes, memories oh, well. of places I've never been, things I've never seen, memories of Nick's. They're not bad, hmm. they're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. Oh, Nick. You think, you feel, you're yeah. more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't that, get me wrong, much. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop, a guy with good instincts. Mm. And a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. 
But it's <laughs> thanks. thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't mm -hmm. do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. Um. You've yeah. already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I, mm. I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. Yeah. You're a real good friend. Thanks. Mm. Så tingen med Nick är er att eh uh, personligheten you know, hans chunk of Nick Valentine history <laughs> I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Ja väl. Sure thing. Okay. What's the case? <laughs> well, this one straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston there lived a king of organized crime. Eddie Winter. Okay. A bad man who did a lot of bad things. Hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming. So he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Um I huskan. Gör det då? Jag tror inte det. Eddie Winter was from my time. Real scumbag. The story mm. gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death. Live forever. So he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. <laughs> Sound familiar? Only Eddie Skal didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Uh, okay. Don't tell me. Prick, prick, prick. Um. You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. Mm. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. Manik Aliki Kigulz. So that never happens. You in? Uh, right, yeah. Nick. Let's get the bad guy. Good. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes incriminating different criminal associates on each one he hit a single number we find all of those holotapes we get all the numbers we get all the numbers we get the code and then we get winter i've been putting okay. together a file on this one for a while now there's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to uh, including one of winters i managed to snatch from the cambridge police evidence lockup or getting swarmed by ferals. Mm. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Okay. Great. Uh, so, har Nick personligheten hans kjem i fra en politimann i fra, fra, fra mye tid, faktisk. Så, så det är er ju fint. <laughs> så därför han är lite sån för inte förvirrad då men lite frustrerad kanske för Come here again if you need to meet us. Ja. Uh, han han är er lite sån frustrerad för det att det är er ju som att han har en helt annan person i huvudet sett men samtidigt är er han inte så mycket utan han. Hej. When you tango with the institute you got to be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Uh, Your leader was just being cautious. 
Yeah, we know we're all on the same team. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Mm, jag ska pröv och lova er. Don't worry. I'll keep your secret. That's what mm -hmm. I want to hear. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to uh -huh. come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure needs you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But mm. I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. Mm, it's a I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, mm -hmm. if you get into a bind uh -huh. and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Mm. Sign Hello. me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Okay. The old highway. Gretz, we beat to your help now. We should go again. Oh, move on from here again. Think on that duck up near Gulls or no? Eh, that goes pretty well. Hmm. Nah, okay. That was the same thing as I learned last time. Där god. Hate guls. Jag tror inte jag blir och dräp den gulen som har nick snacka om. På i stund i alla fall. För de är så creepy. Mm. Du är inte så mycket bättre på det här punkt. Nej, det var ju här vi skulle ut. Jeg tror, jeg tror det var andre skia. <laughs> oh my god. Det er noe det står masse monster ut for å bare... Hallo, Hilde. Jeg, jeg, jeg vet du ikke har lyst til å snakke med oss. Ok, jeg tror vi har gjort litt framskritt i dag, Enik. Vi, vi har drept masse, masse greier. Uh, <laughs> og hadde det fryktelig, og nå var fryktelig artig. Så ja, vi, vi, vi kan vel ikke klage, ærlig talt. Um, vi har fått gjort litt. Jeg tror vi nå... For så vidt vi skal tilbake til han. La oss bare ferdig hit først, for at jeg, jeg er litt nysgjerrig, ærlig talt. Um, skal vi skynte oss inn før vi blir helt stekt, tenker jeg. <laughs> jeg er litt nysgjerrig, skjønner du. Vi, vi kan gjøre det her før vi avslutter. Hallo! Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need. Hey, ja! I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Mm -hmm. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. Well, Kellogg was once clear and curse from Cursen, actually. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines wow. or setting computer terminals free or sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You are not mm, the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some mm. schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. <laughs> Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's mm, the simple explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers. And send you instead. You know the craziest part of the mm. design? That classical music station. 
That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's oh. on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. Mm. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Mm, I understood. Uh, advanced systems. Divisions within the institute, specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later, but mm. if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. Um, yeah, true. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there for both our sakes. And don't yep. you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go yep. on. Let's go, you are Take and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Uh, mm. The hell aroma is that? Can you look at the neck? Okay, can we stare with times? and serve. Hey, hey. Ah. <laughs> Nick till att spela Snake eller något. Jag vet inte helt. Så, jag tror vi avslutar där. Vi har fått gjort jämpe massa. Vi får prova att finna ut lite mer i nästa episode. Och tack för att du såg på och ha det bra.